Hello and welcome to this quick guide on graph theory. So what we're going to have a little look at today is just a couple of things that you need to be able to know. The first thing you need to know is what a simple graph is. Now you are given the definition in the, in the exam, but it's a bit confusing. That's a simple graph. All these are simple graphs, even if you're simple uh, separately. That is not simple. So a multiple edge is not simple, and this is not simple. So a leap. Connected is clearly what's going on here. A, a, non, a disconnected graph, or one that is not connected, for example, is that. As you can see, this node here is not connected. So you need to know what simple and connected is. Now, if I've got all... If I've got four nodes again, if I want to draw a simple and connected graph, then the minimum number of edges is just to go around in like a circle, or in this case, a square. So actually, if I've got four nodes, the minimum amount of edges is 3, is the min. However, if I've got 5 nodes, as you can probably guess, it's going to be 4. If I had n nodes, then the minimum is going to be n minus 1. So, that's important for, to start with. The next bit, though, is the maximum. Again, if I'll have a look, if I've got 4 nodes, then this is going to get really important here. As if I've got this node here, I can attach that one, that one, and that one. I can't attach to any extra. That is now not simple. This is now not simple. So the maximum order of this node is 3. I could do that for every node. As you can realise there, my total graph is going to be this. And that's the maximum for a simple connected graph. So, if I've got 3, 3, 3, the total there is 3 for each order times 4. So my total order is 12. Now if I divide that by 2, and then get the number of arcs, so it's 6. Let's have a go at 5. Well, let's see if you can do it for 5. What's the maximum number of arcs required for simple connected graph with 5 nodes? So if we've got these 5 nodes here, what's the maximum number of arcs in this diagram? So, as you can see here, each node has order 4, and there's 5 of them, so I've got 5 times 4, and to get the number of arcs, you divide it by 2, because each arc contributes 2 to the total order. So this, in fact, is 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So for n nodes, well, you should get n times n minus 1, for this, this is a simple, you can't have 1 bigger than the number of nodes, and divide it by 2. So, just as a little quick example, if I had 10 nodes, well, let's make it a bit harder. Let's go for 100 nodes. Then each node can have an order of 99. So I then I get 99 times 100 divided by 2, which actually, if I'm quite quick, I can just do. It's 50 times 99, which is 4950. So that's how many arcs we'll need. So that's a lot, but then there's 100 nodes. Okay, so that's a quick bit on the, uh, the graph theory. A couple of common questions going on now. First question is, why can't that graph exist? And the reason this graph can't exist is because you've got an odd number of odd nodes. And actually, if you added up that total order, it would be an odd number. It's 9, 12, 9, 12 or 13. It's a total of 15. So if you divide that by 2, you get 7.5 arcs, which is a load of rubbish. If I then get this question now again, and I edit it, let's make it doable. Um, up it to six, not oh, spoil the game, right? If I rub that out and put that as a two, you now, that order now adds to nine, twelve, uh, sixteen. This has now got eight arcs. However, this graph cannot be simple. So if I said, why is this graph not simply connected? You'd say it can't be simple because of this. That node of order 5 must connect to all the other nodes. Now look at where the problem's going to be. 1, 2, 3, 4. The maximum order it can have is 4. If I was to have 5, I'd either have to do that or that. And now it's not simple. So look out. This cannot be bigger than the number. Of, it can't be equal to the number of nodes or bigger. So basically, that's a quick uh, summary of graph theory. So the following here. do it n times, it's going to be a bigger simple connected graph, which gives it this order here. 
It's the number of arcs. For a simple connected. And actually, structure graph here. So if we say we've got seven nodes, the maximum order it can be is six for it to be simply connected. And since I said seven, I can check whether this graph exists as a graph, not necessarily simply connected, and it does because you've got an odd number of odd nodes. To get the total number of arcs, I'll add them together. So 11, 15, 18, 21, 23, 24. So the total order is 24 divided by 2 gives you 12 arcs. Now you could draw that graph, and actually I've said it exists. The problem is that with this graph, um, well, there's nothing really. Um, this is this is okay here. So, who wants to draw this? Uh, I'd put the six one in first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This one must be on its own. So I'll go for five. One, two, three, four, six. That's five, and that's the one done. This is now a two. So we could leave that. We could make it a three. I'd also make that a three. That's that graph that exists. One last question to have a go at. And it's this. Why can't this graph be simply connected? It exists as a graph because the odd nodes come in pairs. There's, there's, there's four of them. Now, the problem is, hopefully you've spotted it. It's these threes. These must connect to every node. Watch what happens. I'm going to put my three in first. I'm going to put my other three in, which must connect to every other one. Now, these cannot have order one. So what you'd say is the nodes of order 3, both nodes of order 3 must connect to every other node, therefore the others can't have order 1, there must be at least 2. So there's every quick recap of graph theory.